but it's about that time King we for... had your favorite segment king for an issue yes king for an issue so let's talk about we've it. talked about a lot of this off podcast okay Uh oh i want to touch on because we've talked about taxes being fixed in high school talking about business being built in high school how do we fix our high school system to prepare them for the outside world? So are you talking about fixing education? No. I'm not talking about fixing education. What best can we do you outside of what's already in education? I'm okay, about so keeping current education and doing an addendum to education. With where it's at now, yes. What can we addend to the current curriculum? curriculum to add to build you for taxes to build you for business development to build you across the what can we do because we've talked about it off mm -hmm. and it was like okay well we could we could talk about tax knowledge we could talk about business knowledge but what can we do now with the current curriculum to build you for success on the outside i want to go first okay all right <clears throat> it's it's not as 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 Mike would say, it's, it's a very complicated answer. I mean, it is a complicated problem with a complex answer. There, yeah, but that, this is king for an issue, not king for a day. This See is this issue, issue all right. the way through. So, the, okay, so the issue is... Our curriculum is messed it, it, up. It, no, it's not even... It's not just the curriculum. It's, it goes back to uh, environmental. Nope, nope. Fix the curriculum. What can we do to best prepare you in the curriculum now it would be a functional adult yes well, no okay so then the question should be how can the educators how can the educators better prepare individuals for adult living life i mean if that's how you understand the question then sure yes that's essentially what i'm saying okay how can we prepare you best for you to be a functional member of society as an adult outside of the curriculum what can we do in the curriculum i want to i want to go last to build you on this. Okay. So for instance, that, that you do, you do economics when I was in high school, which was many moons ago year. Um, you do, you do a semester of economics actually. And I think it's more of a microeconomics than, than there is <laughs> macro economics. Um, so economics, I, I think there needs to be more economics and and financial economics uh, on what standpoint? Financial education. Okay, because uh, we talk economics and we're talking about a multitude of different yeah, things. Yeah, I think there needs to be more of a a financial education, um, how to save money, how to spend money, how to budget money, how to, uh, be smart with what you have, how to use what you have. In the best possible way. So living within your means. Right. Okay. Um, you know, use what you've been given most optimally uh, in, in a way that it is designed to be used. Um, so that's step one. Right. Uh, number two. Economic so, understanding is one. Right. Two would be stop lying to our students. Stop filling them with your own personal uh political views or agendas has that uh, i'm i'm curious has that fixed the current allow the students to have their own opinion? political view and, and view. opinion okay uh instead of making uh, a debate club or class um something that kids can choose to be in i think it should be part of their curriculum learning how to fact check uh, research and and be able to listen, communicate, and uh, argue their point back uh, in a constructive way, without shutting down and like just dropping the subject, where they can get their whole point of view out, uh, where they can actually source where they got their information from as well. So one being fix the uh, economic understanding. Mm -hmm. Two being fix the political view. Three being fix communication. Fix communication of understanding. Yeah, and 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 how to relay that understanding in a way that others can understand as well. Okay. So, um, I, I 
my top three things were would be yeah fix if you have more than three push more than three if you need to so the economic standpoint financial understandings um and political views political views get rid of those uh stop pushing agendas um and then the communication learning how to communicate properly with others uh because everybody has different communication techniques and understandings um so the way one person may receive communication may not be the same way that somebody is used giving to giving. It. Okay. Uh, you you mentioned earlier in the episode in the book talk of uh, love languages. L- exactly. For kids. Learn different languages of how people talk. Right. Uh, same thing. Um, I think honestly, I, also uh, there needs to be um, back in the day. You used to have woodworking shop, or you had mechanic life shop. Life skills, yeah. Life skills shop. Uh, you had, you literally had basket weaving one hundred and one. Yeah. Uh, where you learn how to sew clothes, bake, you know, cook in the kitchen. I think that needs to be brought back. So we're um, talking back to lifestyle skills yeah. to build people for it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know how to be self sufficient in a world that is becoming less and less uh, codependent um on each other and, and being self-sufficient like so, so those are your five is yeah, there anything you would yeah. like to add or are those you pretty much your soapbox of the five to fix this issue is there anything else you would like to add to i'm sure there's more that can be piggybacked on but it, it, immediately but those, are my, those are your five yeah those are my top i okay. would say i mean mine's pretty simple i had business 101 class i had economics i like i had all the things that i want and I had this in a school in D.C. Like, this was something I had to do. Mm-hmm. And all those successfully built me. So I think some schools are doing this, but most aren't. We need economics. We need to know the economy. We need to know business. I need to know how to write contracts. I need to know how to read contracts. So if, we ha- if I have both of those, realistically, I'm set up for success. But we should have a continuation from that. It was my vape. It's fine. Continuation from that. I should understand political views, how people understand, how people view, how people receive. Right. All that it is encompassed into sociology. If I understand how people receive, if I have those three and they're not political agenda, they're not pushed towards one way or another, I have economics, I understand business, and I understand sociology. Even as an elected, you have the ability to learn. If you don't learn this, that's on you. You can't be pissed off when you leave high school for this. You you shouldn't be. Right. Because you have the ability to learn this. Having the ability is the biggest thing. Should we force it? Yes and no, because if we force it, people won't want to learn it. If you have the ability, you have the three. But that that's me. So at the beginning of this topic, I asked for the parameters of this discussion. And you said, well, we're not going to fix education. We're not going to correct education. Correct. But I disagree on how you go about this without fixing education as a whole. Okay. I think that you, because it's most important to start this early. So all of these subjects, and I I think Kelt pegged a lot of these subjects correctly, but rather than doing these in high school, you need to be starting all of these subjects in elementary school at the beginning of their education. At the beginning of your education, much like you yeah. know, you're learning English and all this other shit, you need to be learning at the beginning of your education. You need to be learning about United States laws. I don't disagree. You need to be learning about you know taxes and finances. You need to be learning about financial law, U.S. law. You need to like, be learning yeah. a language early on. A language. I don't care what language. A language early on. You need to be learning all of these things. You know, you need to be learning how to do stuff with your hands because we're not in, it's not my grandparents' age where they taught their kids how to do stuff by hand, right? So they need to be learning woodwork, the basics of woodworking. They need to be learning the very, and I'm not talking about like very in depth, but the very, very basics of how to use power tools, Yep. how to deal with metals. 
how to fix a simple appliance. The basic understanding of blue collar work. And it has to start at an early age. I would push middle school. Elementary school would be earlier to start and build this knowledge. Yes. I would agree on that and one. It, yes. would be a, it would be a progression. And this yes. would require a restructuring of our current education system. And it would require a restructuring of those expectations for that education. And system. I would even push it a step further. It would be your elective starting in elementary school. And you would have mandatory pieces, but you would also have an elective to major in a way to dive more into it. Yeah. Like you have, okay, this is your baseline. This is your basic. And, and by giving them electives when they're in elementary school, middle school, you are giving them the option of choice early on in life. And you know, you you're are teaching building them how to choose what early we're on building in life. is a successful society because they are having the choice and willingness to learn at an earlier age. And dealing with the repercussions of those choices and those expectations. And that's the other thing, is stop insulating our children from the repercussions of their actions. After actions. Because what happens is, is that they graduate from high school, and they graduate, and there's this expectation that, well, you're an adult now. You should have it figured out. Because I don't know about you gentlemen, but when I came out of high school, I did not know anything about taxes. I knew zero about taxes. Yep. I knew zero about business. See, I differ from that only because and, where I went. And I came out and I was like, well, I didn't know about blue collar work and what blue collar work was worth in yep. general. Because if I had, I probably would, would have, have changed been... my occupation. Yes. Yes. Instead, I was like, well, I don't know what the fuck to do with myself. So I eventually, after in when I was 21 is when I joined the army. Okay. Okay. That's three years. Yeah. You're talking about you graduate 18, 19, depending on eight, eight, what's 18 going on. years old. I graduated. My parents kicked me out of the house. You know, I went to live with my dad. And I, I fucking, I had no idea how to fucking progress and be ambitious about life because how do you have ambition when you have no like concept of what a direction? Exactly, you don't know where you're supposed to go. And so when we're getting into when, when we're getting into the high school years, realistically, the last two to three years of high school should all be you touching on different trades. Like realistically. I didn't need to know calculus in high school. I didn't need to know physics exactly. in high school. I didn't need, there was so much wasted fucking time in high school. Yep. yep. The amount of wasted fucking time. How many of us do you school? expect to be engineers, architect? Like, realistically, how many do you expect to us to use math all the fucking time? What, what, fuck it, man. I don't even use the Pythagorean fucking theorem. I, I don't even use foil. What are you talking about? I pull a fuck. The only thing I use is PEMDAS occasionally. I don't even know what the and hell that is. Please excuse my dead aunt Sally. Nope. Still don't know what that is. Foil. I don't use it. I don't know. I don't foil use. Is. I don't use any of this sh fucking shit. So realistically, all schooling, early schooling, should be doing is getting you close to preparation. And Building. if you want to. Go further, deeper into yes. the education, okay. and get gain more knowledge. Then that's what college is for. Agreed, hands down. 